Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we will see how we can read form or parameter data in Java Servlet. In the previous video, we have seen the first example of Java Servlet, and you can see the code right here. Now we are going to see how you can uh, read the values of a HTML form, for example, in the Servlet code. So there are three methods that are normally used. First method is get parameter. So you can call request dot get parameter. Now we have to use the request object because the request is coming from the browser or any other client. So request dot get parameter method is used to get the value of to get the value of a form parameter. Another method is get parameter values. This method is used if the parameter appears more than once and written multiple values. For example, check boxes. So in that case, you have to use get parameter values. I will write the definition here and then you can write it down. But, but first, let's discuss the working of these methods. So get parameter values is used if the parameter appears more than once and the different values are associated with each of the request. For example, checkbox. Third is get parameter names. This method is called when you want a complete list of all the parameters in the current request. So this method is used when you want the complete list of the, all the parameters in the request. So you can now note down the definition of these methods. Now let's take an example where we will see an HTML form. That HTML form will contain two text fields, first name and last name. And then the Java code of the servlet where we will be used request.getParameter method to fetch the values of those text fields from HTML form. So first create an HTML form. Suppose the form name is p1.html create a simple form so the method that I am using is get method you can use <laughs> post method also and in this create two text fields one is with the name first name and second second with the name last name and create a button so input type submit give the caption of the button in the value suppose click close the form so this is a simple form that we have created. Now let's see how you can call the values of this or fetch the values of this text fields in the servlet code. So I'm not going to write the entire code that is up till the method I am not writing because in any servlet code till this point the entire code is same. So you can write this code from this video lecture also. So now after that, after that, what you can do is you can use request.getParameter method to fetch the values of these text fields. 
So I am writing directly from out.println that is I want to display the values on the servlet. So for that you need to create an entire HTML inside the servlet. And that is done with the help of various concatenations of the HTML tags and the Java code. Suppose the file name is serve1.java. So I have written out.println doc type then plus this doc type you can define in the uh, earlier, stages, earlier stages of this program. Then the HTML, you can skip the head and title tag or you can write here as per your requirement. Then write body tag. See this is the HTML part so I have written each of the tag in the double quotes. After that what we have to write? We have to write the Java code. So we have to display the first name value that a user will enter in the text field and submit it against this field. So you have to use request dot get parameter method. And in this you have to pass the name of the text field. Since the name is first name so you will pass first name here close it and then again you have to append it for further HTML part. So this is the first name. So if I have to write last name also write it like this. Again use request.getParameter and in this use the text field name that is last name. And after that what you have to do? You have to simply close the body tag and the HTML tag. So this is your servlet code. In this servlet code, entire servlet code, there are two lines which are of importance. First line is this one that is request.get parameter first name and second is request.get parameter last name. And in this you can see that the value of this text field that is a name the value of name attribute should be same as that of this and similarly the value of this text field that is a last name should be same as that of this attribute. So these particular values which are associated at the time of form making are used to fetch the values in the servlet code. So that is how you can uh, fetch the values or read the form parameter data in the Java servlet. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such tutorials on Java servlet and other computer science related subjects. Thank you.